So how do we maintain our reputation as being the only place in the United States that celebrates Goose Day? We have to permanently make it possible that no one's ever going to forget that we are the headquarters for Goose Day. So we've purchased some bronze geese and we're going to incorporate them into a park design. And this park is going to be built uh, starting this fall, fall of 2011, and be completed in the spring of 2012. And uh, we're going to show you uh, what these uh, geese look like. Uh, they're beautiful. We had them uh, built to match a fountain that we're going to have in the center of this park. And uh, they could be uh, spewing water if we choose to do it that way. They're built to, uh, to have a hose that goes through them and sprays water out of the mouth of the goose. But that's not very uh, correct. But this will assure that for generations to come, people are going to remember Goose Day. And hopefully, we'll keep the tradition alive and that they'll always look back. And, and it'll constantly get reinvigorated if it ever loses its impact again. And that's the story. Goose Day in the Junior River Valley. Okay, these are our custom built bronze geese, a goose and a gander, male and female, and they travel in gaggles. Anything more than two geese is a gaggle of geese, as opposed to a herd or a flock. These will be permanently attached to the ground in Five Points uh, Fountain Square. They'll probably be incorporated, it's either part of the fountain. If we choose, there's a little tube here that can spew water out, or they'll just be set as a pair in the park so that all generations going forward are going to know that we really believe in Goose Day. And hopefully by that time, people will be coming from hundreds and hundreds of miles to see what goes on in the Junietta River Valley on September 29th.